In this lecture, we will talk about Griffith transformation experiment. Griffith in the year 1928 was working on bacterium known as Streptococcus pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia has two types of strain. S strain that is smooth strain and R strain that is rough strain. Cells of smooth strain have protective layer called polysaccharide coat or capsule which protect the cells against the immune system and it makes the smooth strain highly pathogenic whereas the rough strain lack capsule and hence the immune system can easily kill the bacteria rough strain. So when cells of S strain are injected into mice, the mice killed. Whereas when cells of R strain are injected in mice, the mice survive. In next experiment, the cells of smooth strain were killed by heat and when the cells are injected to the mice, then mice survive. However, when cells of heat killed smooth strain, are mixed with R strain and injected into the mice, then mice is killed. And this result was surprising. It means that something transferred from heat killed S strain to live R strain cells, which converted the live R strain bacteria to S strain, which was highly pathogenic. And this phenomenon was known as transforming principle. At that time, Griffith was not sure what transferred from the heat killed S strain to live R strain cells. So, further experiment to find the transforming principle was done by Avery MacLeod McCarthy, and they showed that transforming material was DNA. So the R strain inherited some transforming principle from the heat killed S strain bacteria which made them virulent and he assumed that this transforming principle as genetic material. So it's all about Griffith transformation experiment.